Hello, my name is Jimmy Brown. I'm the Gossiger Think Developer, and this is a uh, Gossiger Steady Rest, uh, programmable Steady Rest interface. It allows the Steady Rest to be uh, moved while in auto mode to different locations as needed. The way this is done is there's a shot pin built into the Steady Rest that advances and retracts into the bottom of the X axis slide, and then the uh, Z axis can move the Steady Rest back and forth. Uh, this interface was designed to fit inside the P200 control and still allow the vertical keys to be exposed on the right hand side of the screen and the Akuma HMI header to be exposed at the top of the screen. Otherwise it fills the rest of the screen and these keys, the F keys at the bottom would line up to these buttons. So for example F1 uh, would be system link on or off or you can actually click on or touch screen these buttons. Turn the system link back on. We have minimize button which allows the program to run in the background uh, in uh, auto mode, MDI mode. The help button which currently just has the electrical prints that uh, are designed for this interface. And we have a little about box so they can get a hold of uh, the developers if they have any problems John Weaver, Jimmy Brown, uh, this number and we have a settings box which allows us to change the IP address of the PLC if we need to or other uh, conditions here as needed uh, the program needs to run. Uh, there's a built-in alarm circuit so if there's under certain circumstances uh, an alarm is generated it would look similar to this it's a red box with a, an alarm message in there and a kind of a scrolling white light uh, to represent a flashing red light and um, to get the uh, operator's attention if he's across the room uh, hopefully he can't miss this. Uh, we have an open and close steady rest buttons a little animation built in this was written in uh, Visual Basic with the Windows Presentation Foundation which allows for the animations if the steady rest is open, you can advance the pin into the at the z-axis position. When you retract the pin, the uh, z-axis position will be captured here and stored into a common variable that the subroutine can uh, grab and move to that position in order to move the steady rest. M101 is uh, closed. M102 is open. M103 is advance the uh, pin and M104 is retract the pin. This red light here is used uh, in pulse wheel mode. If you don't want to go back and forth to the actual position page, you can just pulse wheel the Z axis over close to the steady rest. As you get uh, close to the pin, this will turn yellow. And when you're right on the pin position, this will turn green. And then you can advance and retract your pin as necessary and move the steady rest. Auto manual are based off of the uh, control auto manual mode. Uh, these are not set here. Uh, we have an I.O. page in the back which has all the uh, so we can see the I.O. for the PLC and the Akuma that's being used. Uh, these are just examples uh, but as this program loads if it's uh, anything that's used like machine lock or uh, the steady rest open confirmation those inputs and outputs will be labeled and shown here. As the video continues you're going to see uh, how this works. M101 is steady rest closed M102 is steady rest open. Pin extend is M103. Pin retract is M104. Steady rest has to be unclamped. Then the pin can be advanced. The brake is then released and the steady rest is moved to the new position. The pin is retracted 
and the new position is captured. The subprogram knows where the position is based off of a common variable. It goes back to that location and fires the M103. You can see we're in auto mode. The retract and advance lights, the buttons are disabled. The clamp and unclamp or the open close buttons are disabled. Uh, but they still will work in conjunction with auto mode. See it changes, it goes into clamp, unclamp. Z axis comes into position, the light turns green. It's moving, it retracts the pin, it captures the new Z axis position. Since it is in position, the light was green. It will come back to that position in order to move the steady rest again.